Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and I'm here with more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one is season two, episode 21. Uh, I believe it's a two-parter, 21-22, this uh, season finale. Hoping I can get two in today. Um, so it's called Becoming or The Becoming. So yeah, interesting. Um, I'm not sure where we're gonna go with this. I'm hoping this is just all about Spike. Um, I'm going to talk about what's going on so far, but kind of not the last episode, because I feel like the last episode was more of a standalone one um, with the whole fish man thing. Uh, but the kind of overarching story, we found out that Spike is not in a wheelchair. Uh, it didn't have to be anyway. And that he's clearly up to something and has been up to something. So I'm really hoping that this is all Spike's plan coming into action because I'm really intrigued to see what he's up to. Um, especially as it seems that Drusilla's not in on it, which could cause some friction doing something without her, without her knowledge. Um, and of course, the whole Angel situation. Part of me feels like, oh, you know, end of the season, it could be a finale of bringing Angel back and him having to deal with what he's done. But then I also think, mm, he's not been bad for that long. He could be a very good villain going forward to keep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. I say we'll see what happens. You already know what's happened. I will see what happens. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you head over to Patreon, we are two episodes ahead. So we'd already be uh, starting season three. So grab your cuppa, grab your snacks and let's watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer season two, episode 21, Becoming. Flashback. Oh, Dara, is this angel getting turned? Uh oh. So, I suppose this is the first time we've seen someone get turned into a vampire. Something bad, I'm gonna guess. I will teach <laughs> the language of love. Don't touch it, you have fish hands. Come, let me come. Stop it! Let me go. <laughs> Stop and you? Do you have any chair shortage? I didn't read anything about. Oh. <laughs> public displays of affection are not acceptable in my school. This isn't an orgy, people. It's a classroom. Yeah? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying the flashbacks. This Drusilla? Oh. I don't want to be an evil thing. Oh, hush, child. The Lord has a plan for all creatures. Even a devil child like you. A devil? <laughs> yes, the old spawn of Satan. I want to be pure. He's so twisted and I love it. Come on. 
Don't keep teasing me like this. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Does that say restoration? It's one of her spells, I think. It's common to us with practicing witch, but she do well. She knows what it is. Oh now she's got a decision to make. Save him or kill him. So is this the spell the first time round? Through a file and, and researching the black arts for fun or education. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> I may be able to work this. Hey, for those of you who have just tuned in, everyone here is a crazy person. So this spell might restore angels' humanity? Well, here's an interesting angle. Who cares? I care. Okay. Right. Let's not lose our perspective here. So. I'm a perspective guy. To be fair, his perspective is a valid one. It's not that forgiven? I can't believe you people. Angel needs to die. Killing Angel seems to have been Jenny's last wish. Yeah, well, Jenny's dead. Can't you hear what I'm saying? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Haven't they been quite unfair to Zander there? What do you want? Every other vampire they come across is just killed. Harsh, but again, he's not wrong. Oh, Kendra! You know, like people call to put a joke out of the bushes and attack you. Just wanted to test your reflexes. It's good to see her again. It's a big rock. Can't wait to tell my friend. <laughs> I love how Spike is still just going along with everything with his usual sarcasm. I mean about a day. And an orb of Thessala, whatever that is. Spirit vault for rituals of the undead. I've got one. I've been using it as a as a way. This one I can't help you stop. Oh that's what the guy in the shop said when Jenny bought one. What are you gonna do? Bite me? So this is interesting. There's a lot of angel story in this one. It's interesting. So you want to see Buffy? <laughs> Tyler would have to crawl on his hands and knees to get me to go to the dance with him. Which actually he's supposed to do after practice, so I'm gonna So okay. Buffy was Wait, Cordelia. Call me, honey. Call me. <laughs> oh, So is he like one of the watchers, like, or the same sort of group of people as the, like the head teacher and the police and stuff? Not worthy? Oh, 
I bet Spikey drawed that. So is he going to go after the guy that was helping him before? Or is going after Buffy? Or Giles? I'm just going to list names. In case the curse does not succeed, this is my lucky stake. Oh. I call it Mr. Pointy. <laughs> you named your stake. I really like Kendra. Thanks. I'm so happy to see Watch her again. Back. Will he feel it like while it's happening? Ooh. So now I feel like Angel and Buffy, he's got her there as a distraction because they're after probably Giles. See, it's what I said. And you fall for it every single time. Oh. Oh, don't kill off Kendra. Interesting. I knew that she was a seer, but I didn't think she had any kind of powers. <gasps> oh no! I really liked her. Giles knew it. that okay so i feel like that was very much an episode paving the way for the finale and what's to come um it wasn't what i was expecting with um spike storyline hopefully that's still to come um but well i love seeing the flashbacks with angel um i think it's always good when you've got a character that's been around so long to see these things, um, to see his soul restored the first time. Um, I'm trying to think about a few episodes. So, very interesting dilemma with, well, not a dilemma, but point of view from Xander. Um, I completely get where he's coming from. That, you know, most vampires are just staked. So why should Angel be any different when he's even killed someone they're close to? You know, how how many deaths and how many people close to them is it going to take for her to give up and just kill him? But then I also see her point of view that if there is a chance to save someone. Surely you need to give that a go first. Um, you know, they're both neither are right, completely right or completely wrong. Uh, interesting to see Willow taking the lead on the curse rather than Giles. Um, it definitely fits for her character. She always wants to help and she's someone that, almost like myself, once you get really into something, you're obsessively into it and you'll find out everything you can. And she's that person. She's smart and, yeah, throwing herself into it like that is very Willow. So... Uh, it makes sense for her to be doing that. Obviously, we've got this demon. 
I'm not going to try and say his name or remember his name because I think I'd do an even worse job of it than Buffy did. Uh, which I'm interested to see whether they do manage to unleash this demon. So now I'm wondering whether the episode will end or the next episode will be about the demon being released and it being bought or whether it's going to be about the demon being released but they managed to resolve the angel issue either way and then the demon is going into next season what they're going to be fighting um yeah i i thoroughly enjoyed every small moment we had of spike because he's just hilarious the so i love the sarcasm and the way he is towards Angel and this the, the fact that we know that he's keeping this big secret, even from Drusilla, um, is just really fun to watch. Um, I was so happy to see Kendra again, only for them to kill her off. I should have known. Shows and movies always do this, bring back a favourite character just to kill them off. Um, yeah, because I, I mean... I'm sure I said in the episode where we met her that I really wanted to see her again. So, yeah. It's a shame. And what was going on with Drusilla? Like I said, I knew she was a seer. But I don't know if she had any kind of powers or what that was that she did. That's interesting. I'm just... I really want to get into this next episode because this is one of those that, like I said, I feel like it was the build-up to the finale and there wasn't a lot resolved it was more building it with the questions and the wondering and the danger ready for the next one so i think i'm gonna go straight in and watch that one um so that was buffy the vampire slayer season two episode 21 uh, becoming part one uh thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one bye